Now to campaign 2016, and Donald Trump announced this afternoon that he is headed to the U.S.-Mexican border tomorrow as part of his presidential campaign. It comes as he defends his actions in recent days, saying that he has to be himself in response to criticism over lobbing insults at several of his Republican rivals. I'm trying to be nice. I want to be nice. I'm a nice person. But everybody's calling me names. And I guess Donald Trump insisted he didn't polls. start it when asked about his ongoing feud with much of the Republican establishment. But they're saying horrible things like, I don't even know these people. And they're saying these, now, am I supposed to, you know, just say, oh, it's okay for them to say one guy, uh, I guess it was Lindsey Graham called me a jackass. So am I supposed to say, oh, it's okay if I'm called a jackass. I'm called a jackass. You have to fight back. But he says he won't hold back when he feels like he's being attacked by politicians who, before his presidential run, came looking for money. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. At a campaign rally in South Carolina Tuesday, the Republican presidential candidate went so far as to give out Senator Lindsey Graham's personal cell phone number after the two candidates traded insults back and forth. I did it for fun, and everybody had a good time. And a good time is what Senator Graham is having now, showing a variety of ways to destroy your cell phone in a video produced by IJ Review. Trump's antics and controversial remarks about Mexican immigrants and John McCain's military service may cause a stir, but he's still leading the crowded GOP race in the polls by a large margin. Some rivals need to just ignore him. But the celebrity businessman's unorthodox ways threatened to overshadow the other candidates' campaigns, including Ohio Governor John Kasich, who became the 16th Republican to enter the race. He has credentials on paper that if this were a job interview and not maybe so much of an entertainment show, uh, Kasich would be doing a lot better than Donald Trump. Trump says he has no intention of changing. The Republican candidate's first presidential debate is scheduled for August the 6th, but only the top 10 candidates in the polls will get to participate in that debate. In the meantime, federal regulators made Trump's wealth and financial holdings public today, and just like Trump's campaign reported, the presidential candidate reports he is worth $10 billion, holds leadership positions in more than 500 business entities, and has at least $1.4 billion in assets and $240 million in debt.